Have you ever wanted to go on an adventure? One with a clear goal, a clear purpose, but more intricate than the typical aim of getting from point A to point B? I've been interested in wildlife photography since I was young, but never gave the hobby any serious attention. In recent years, I've become taken with the idea of photography as a catalyst to what I've been searching for. I started making checklists, taking photographs, identifying species, but it was all haphazard, lacked dedication, until now. Turtles have always been my favorite animal, likely stemming from countless childhood influences. This will become my focus, tracking down every turtle species in my home state of Florida. This is the adventure I've been searching for. My first target is the Florida box turtle, chosen via spreadsheet RNG. Some quick research shows this is a land turtle that lives in the forested areas of wetlands, marshes, and swamps. In light of this, my first destination will be right in my backyard, Graham Swamp Preserve. Just been a nice man. Let me know that there he's seen some Florida box turtles crossing a field near here. So I'm heading there right now, see if I can catch them. New species identified. The brown anole is an invasive species in the United States. It lays its eggs in the soil of plants that are transported around the world. So I didn't actually end up finding any box turtles in that field that that guy told me about. Uh, while I was walking back off this trail, I just saw an amazing hawk or an osprey or something. I was able to get a few good photographs, I think, of it, but definitely flew away before I could try and get the tripod fully set up to take a video. New species identified. New species identified. The American alligator is considered a keystone species. It constructs small ponds called alligator holes, which provide habitat for other aquatic species during the dry season. All right, so I actually did end up finding some turtles. They just weren't Florida box turtles. I'm not exactly sure what species they were. Uh, might have been like a yellow slider or something. I gotta go look it up when I get home. New species identified. The peninsula Kuta males have elongated front claws, which are used to stimulate the females prior to sexual activities. And with that, my Graham Swamp adventure came to an end. It was exciting to get footage of a turtle on my first outing, but my quest to track down the Florida box turtle would have to continue. My next outing takes me to Ocala National Forest, home to the highest concentration of black bears in the state of Florida. 
Here I hiked a small section of the Florida National Scenic Trail, starting near Juniper Springs in the hopes of crossing paths with a Florida box turtle. Just arrived and parked out here uh, off the main highway at a free parking location. Uh, about to enter Juniper Springs, uh, find the trailhead. New species identified. The spiny-backed orb weaver's life comes to an end after reproduction, which is usually three to six months after they hatch. Whew. There are a lot of spiders on this trail, spider webs. I've just been swinging my little wooden sword in front of me the whole time to to knock all these webs down. New species identified. The golden silk spider, commonly referred to as the banana spider, is one of the largest non-tarantula spiders in North America. The females can reach sizes greater than 4 inches, including leg span. Just got off the trail at the Highway 40 crossing. Been going super slow. Only did like 1.7 miles in two and a half hours. Mainly because so many spiders, so many giant three inch spiders with webs crossing the trail, I had to be very cautious about and strategically chop down in order to get through. Now I'm at a decision point. Do I keep going? When I cross this highway, there's pretty close by, looks like a nice water source. So might be a good spot to potentially see some, some turtles, some box turtles. And these trails are just so narrow and so dense on either side. And it's like, you gotta get so lucky to see a box turtle here, I feel. You just need to, have the turtle on the trail in front of you the exact moment that you're walking by. So you can't really see much on either side of you as far as trying to spot a turtle in the, in the brush. Good thing is I parked on this highway and so it's probably like only a mile to mile and a half down this highway, which I can do pretty easily in like 20, 30 minutes at most. So I think I'm just gonna keep going and we go another half mile to a mile in at most. Turn back, get here, and just go back to the car, call it a day. We eat lunch right now, and we'll see what happens. New species identified. Oh, the trail on this side of the highway is a lot better. It's definitely cleared up. Less spiders crossing the path. Still spiders crossing the path. But, oh, it's so much nicer. I'm hearing more birds. That's great.
New species identified. Heading back to the car now. Unsuccessful in finding any box turtles. But just got to keep persevering. This guy right here, this is the MVP right here. Thank you, Uncle Walter. With two unsuccessful trips in the bag, it was time to try something new. It was time to consult our dystopian lord and savior, ChatGPT. Okay, so Ocala National Forest is on here. I'm on the right track. Wait, what's this? Payne's Prairie? My brother raves about this place, and it isn't too far a drive. I cross-referenced with iNaturalist, aka the greatest wildlife distribution tool ever created which I had never used until now, and there does seem to be a high density of Florida box turtle sightings in and around Gainesville. New species identified. The Eastern Grey Squirrel hoards food in various hidden stashes for later consumption. This behavior is a key contributor to forest regeneration. New species identified. New species identified. Almost back in the shade. Uh, I've been out on this prairie for probably an hour or so. Zero shade. No turtles. Did see some wild horses though. New species identified. This feral population of the domestic horse is descended from horses brought to Florida by the Spanish in the 16th century. New species identified. New species identified. Just got a nice grippy 
tripod mount that I can attach to different things. So I have it attached to the steering wheel right now. Uh, it's pretty cool. I can get some decent car vlogging shots, so that's good. Heading to a trail south of Gamble Rogers, which is itself south of Flagler Beach. And I know people have seen box turtles countless times in Flagler Beach. And so I think this trail I'm going on should just be a wilder version of the Flagler Beach habitat. So hopefully we can catch something. And afterwards, I can just jump in the ocean. It's getting really, really hot here in Florida right now. 90s every single day. And I'm very much regretting that I'm tracking down a land turtle right now. This trail is amazing. Number two, I washed this hat and my drawstrings on it broke off, so I'm unfortunately gonna have to sew that back together soon. New species identified. The gopher tortoise is considered a keystone species. It creates extensive burrows underground which provide shelter for hundreds of other species. Some ominous looking clouds have developed. I've been hearing thunder for the past 10-15 minutes. It may actually start raining. I end up having to use my dry bag for my camera. I get stuck out here in the rain for the first time. It might actually be a good thing. I've seen some things online that implies that Florida box turtles might be more active during and after afternoon showers. We'll see what happens. All right, it is officially raining pretty hard. Probably won't last all that long. Alright, the rain is finally easing up. It's been longer than expected, like 25 minutes or so. Unfortunately, I think the rain washed away all of my bug spray. And so I'm starting to get bit. And I left the bug spray in the car. Oh well. Just realized I brought this shirt. It should help with the flies. I just had a family of five deer practically posing for me on one of these trails here. New species identified. The white-tailed deer males are referred to as bucks. Each year they grow and shed a new set of antlers with growth rates up to one fourth inch per day.
I had some errands to run near St. Augustine, so I decided I may as well go for a quick hike at Moses Creek Conservation Area to see if I could get lucky. I ran out of bug spray and was getting eaten up pretty badly, so I turned around almost immediately. But not before I saw this. Coming up empty-handed repeatedly was beginning to get a bit demoralizing. I spoke with my friend's parents who live part-time in Flagler Beach, aka my local contacts, who reported common sightings of Florida box turtles while walking their dog. Well, considering nature trails haven't been too forthcoming for me, I decided to make a trip to walk the back alleys of the neighborhood south of the Flagler Beach Pier. New species identified. The Florida box turtle is listed as vulnerable on the IUCN red list. Some of the largest threats to this species are human-induced habitat loss and modification, roadkill and pollution. Yes! Finally found a Florida box turtle. Let's go! Yeah. All in all, in my three hour walk through the neighborhood, I came upon an astonishing total of five Florida box turtles. I'm not really sure what to make of all this, but one thing seems clear to me. Sometimes a simple human interaction can prove to be more valuable than countless hours spent scouring the internet and reading books. Mm -hmm.